Well, maybe we should talk a little bit more about Willie Loman and what it means, the resonance that an African-American experience brings to this role and what the demands are of the role. I know that um, for me, you know, who's been in theater and literature for a long time, I had not connected to this play until I saw you do the reading last spring. And we should say that we had a reading here last April, which involved Avery and Petronia and a number of other actors, including Abdullah Bey from Cleveland, who's in the production. Uh, and because I came from a family of African American salesmen, I, it had never, I had never made that connection until I saw you doing it. And then the, the whole tragedy of Willie Loman, the epic experience of Willie Loman of trying to reach for an American dream that um, may not have been fulfilled in the way he wanted, had such a different resonance for me when I thought about my uncles. Uh, African-American salesmen in the 40s and the 50s who were up against so many additional barriers to even other salesmen. And I, I just wonder if we want to talk a little bit more about the production itself and the fact that um, Justin's playing your son. We have an even more recent Oberlin graduate, Daryl Johnson, playing your other son. Um, mm -hmm. We also have a wonderful guest actor um, who's playing Charlie, the next door neighbor, and one of our students playing his son, who are Jewish, and, and really looking at that resonance in, in the play. And we also have um, an, a Petronia playing Linda, so uh, who I know has, what did she say, played every relationship to you <laughs> in, in a play in the past. Yeah, in a play, in, in film, and yes. So well, maybe we could talk you know, a little bit Willie more about Loman, that. Right, it's, I mean, you have this epic role of the American theater, and whenever you, you, you're kind of dealing with uh, such an icon, it's easy to kind of feel the weight or the pressure mm. of having to um, respond to the legacy of Willie Lomans mm -hmm. that have come before you, you know. Uh, and that, that goes for, for any actor when they take on, you know, one of these epic parts. It's, it's a weight of, wow, this pressure to, to live up. to, And there, there becomes questions of, you know, that each actor or director must ne negotiate as far as, okay, how much are we going to try and bring to this production and how much are we going to reference that's already happened, you know, um, how much are we going to try and recreate uh, and for me as, as a director, you know, I always try and let, let go of that pressure. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I think most artists do, mm -hmm. you know, try and let go of mm -hmm. the, the pressure of what's, what's come before mm -hmm. you, you know. In particular, though, it's, it's even, you know, more unique when we start talking about the, the cultural expectations that people might, may assume with a role like Willie Loman. So Willie Loman is, you know, they have in their mind traditionally culturally is supposed to be like this mm -hmm. or supposed to talk like this or supposed to represent this experience you know but very early on you know i encourage all my actors um in, including avery of not uh, of, of letting go of of that pressure you know and understanding that you know we are are going to you know give birth to a new willie mm -hmm. loman mm -hmm. that is honoring Mm -hmm. um, that, that is inspired by Arthur Miller's vision mm -hmm. of, of Willie Loman, but is also born out of the, the experience, the cultural experience of every of those in the room, and particularly Avery, mm -hmm. so he's taking on the part, you know. And, you know, one thing I, I told Avery the day before rehearsal is, you know, I want Willie to have your voice, you know. I want, uh, and I don't, you know, don't worry about sounding. Mm -hmm. I want, you know, and that was one thing as, as I've been thinking about this, you know, production for two years is is been hearing you know Avery's yes. voice, and I want to you know hear that voice. And often times, unfortunately, you know, um, uh, actors of color, African American, uh, you know, actors. When you come into a classic piece, or you can come into the American theater in general, and there's not this clarity yes. as far as where we're coming from culturally and what I'm allowed to bring into the room with me. Can we bring our whole Can selves? Can we bring our whole selves into the room, right? Hal Scott often, you know, referred to this kind of ethnic cleansing that <laughs> sometimes is, is assumed has to happen for you know African American to come into the rehearsal Which room. Which other people call a continuation of minstrelsy on some level, you know, right, how can right. you... Well, it's a strange psychological mm -hmm. trip, mm -hmm. you know, f for, for the for African American artists to be in the room and, and, and those expectations that are placed on them. So however, you know, 
then once we release ourselves of that pressure mm -hmm. and really, you know, get in and start to really understand who Willie Loman is through the, through the experiences that we have, he becomes very familiar mm -hmm. to us, as you, mm -hmm. as you mentioned, he becomes very familiar, you know, and just like Arthur Miller wrote Willie Loman, you know, he was referencing, I think, an uncle mm -hmm. of his that he, you know, that he really wanted to honor that story, the story and the struggle of his uncle. Then when we embrace that, we start to see those same people. Mm -hmm. We start to see our uncle. We start to see our next door neighbor. We start to see, you know, uh, just that, that, that guy that we know from our own history. And for me, ultimately, the power of theater a lot is the power of telling stories you know, a African proverb says we live as long as we are remembered, mm -hmm. you know, and we are remembered a lot through our stories. And there are masses of unknown stories, right, throughout history th that are just waiting to be uncovered. And every time we pull one up, we, we, we bring new life, right? We give, we, 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 you know, we give new life to the audience, to, to, to our community, to our ancestors, mm -hmm. you know. So then Willie Loman becomes one of our ancestors. Exactly. And, but we, you have to have the confidence and claim them mm -hmm. as our own. Mm -hmm. And that's how you know, I've been approaching working with Willie.